Hello, everybody, and welcome back to three scary, two scary, maybe even just one scary games. I don't know how many ga scary games we're going to get to fit in this video, but listen, just pretend that there's three of them. If there's not, if you want to watch this live, make sure to click the link in my description so you can say hello like the cuties underneath me and come over to my Twitch page because we record these live every single day. Uh, but without yapping, without waffling, let's jump into our first game called Cycle. I don't know what is it a bicycle is it a wash cycle i don't know i don't know but we're gonna find out let's go yo somebody's panting in my ear right now hello hey it's dark as hell in this game this is scary hey can i get like a lantern or something hey please graphics oh no we just we gotta find a flashlight or something this thing is way too this thing is way too dark oh Maybe if I just shut up and kept walking. Wait, cycle? Okay, it's called cycle. We woke up in a bloody chair. There's someone playing music. But the door's locked. I can't go in there. Okay. Oh. This is like a PT style game. Yeah, where we go through cycles. Okay, well, let's check out the house. We got some pictures on the wall. Whoa, hello. Okay, and then what? Nothing too crazy. Okay, main door. But I can't go in through the main door. Do they want me to go into the dark hallway? I thought I just heard something. Oh, I can't open any door, actually. Wait. Oh, the volume was low, too. My bad. My bad, y'all. The volume was low. We good now. Wait. Wait, why can't I go through any door? What am I supposed to do then? I gotta break the cycle. What's something I've never done before? Twerk in a handstand. I have actually twerked in a handstand, so that is a lie. That's a lie. I actually have twerked in a handstand. Wait. The door locked behind me now. Oh, someone's outside. Hello? Someone's beating some shit in there. Hey, relax. Oh my god. Do people really make their homes like this with these tiny little hallways? So if I get chased by something, I have nowhere to go? Hey, someone. Oh! Oh! I'm not alone. That shouldn't have scared me. We just started. And if she don't sound like that, I don't feel like I did my job, really. You know? You feel me? Like, I'm just saying. Okay. That was the first cycle. I'm back awake. What did I, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Uh-oh. Real, real raggy. That must have just been a dream. I'm sure we're all right. I'm sure we're A-OK. -okay. They're not playing any music anymore. They're done with that shit. Is that- Ew! Oh my fo- Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! A bunch of cocks. A bunch of cocks running around. Oh. Turn the AC on. Better turn that off before dad gets home. I'm gonna beat my ass, bro. Never touch the thermometer. Never touch the AC, bro. Oh, do I have a daughter? Hello. Psychiatric report. I, Dr. Mark Peckle, declared the patient, John Rubrick, able to resume their normal life following treatment. Can I... Following the treatment and weekly follow-up. The patient was diagnosed two years ago with dual personality. That's cool. Two of them. One of them being aggressive and violent. Oh, after treatment with Thorazine and Serentil, the patient showed improvements in his self-control. Therefore, I declare the patient mentioned above is able to return to his home. Oh. So, I'm a little psycho. Is there someone outside? 
Yo, so I'm a little psycho. I, I, I'm assuming I'm the patient. I'm a little crazy thing. Got two personalities. The more the merrier, dude. Yo, is Grandma gawking her head back and forth? Granny, chill! Oh my god! <laughs> Please like that bitch. Please like that bitch. Please like that. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Light it, bro. Okay. Grandma with that jerking head. There's someone in there, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I definitely can. And I don't know how I feel. <sighs> he didn't know how to feel either. He just woke up. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, is it getting smellier? No, I think... Now, does anybody see the blicky by my side? Cause that changes the game a little bit. Can I? Has that always been there? Did I shoot myself? It might have always been there. Back to the classics. No bed sheets is a little crusty. Uh, we gotta put some bed sheets on the bed because a lot of humans secrete many different types of juices, yo. I'm so happy today. I took the pregnancy test and finally got pregnant. After so many years of treatment, John and me will finally- John and I? John and I will finally have a baby. I haven't told him yet. I want to surprise him. I'm afraid of his reaction. He's making progress in his treatment, but he still has some flare-ups. Oh. That's that second personality, baby girl. Don't, just don't worry. I'm a man of many personalities. Um, don't be intimidated. Okay. My other personality is, uh, one of them is a violent freak. The second one is a meat beater. I spend hours on end in my room just pounding. And that's what it usually looks like after I'm done. Mm hmm Still old. Oh, why am I looking at the pictures as if this is a spot the anomaly game? Guys, make sure. Is this the same? Yup. Okay. We're good. Everything's the same so far. That's chill. Oh. There's an outside. Can I leave? No. Maybe I go into my daughter's room again. I think that was her room. Okay. I don't know what happened, but maybe I go back now. Or maybe I missed something back there? Because I was not able to interact with anything. Did I go in here? I did. Did I miss something in here? It's unfortunate, the world we live in. People who don't value life. Today I bring terrible news. A man had a psychotic break and stabbed his wife to death. He took the fetus out of her belly and put it in the crib. She was three months pregnant. The man suffered from split personality and had been released from the psychiatric hospital a few months ago. How bad can human be? Uh, so apparently I took the fetus out of my pregnant wife. Which is something. That's second personality. Now how many people have that personality? That's not... That's not a good personality. Let's... Oh my god, can I go back to my meat beating personality? I didn't harm anybody. Except for my little buddy. Nobody was harmed with the meat beating personality. Except for little Jimmy down there. How you doing? Pro can't breathe. Not after last night. Three straight hours of... Why do my footsteps echo so loud? I'm a heavy motherfucker. I'm a heavy motherfucker. Hey yo, are the cockroaches cockroaches? Are the cockroaches increasing? What was that fucking noise? Hello? Hello? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. A lot more cos cos a lot more cosrosis. This looks like the TV in that one episode of The Office. When 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 Mike Michael brings everybody over to his house and he's like watching on that little TV. That was funny. Shout out all my office fans. If you don't like The Office, then you suck. What is the rocking noise? What is the rocking noise? I mean, sure. Do you want me to look in there? I don't want to look in there. <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? Oh my god. It left me alone though. You better. He saw. He saw the muscles. He saw. I'm gonna try to go to the other rooms. Cause I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. I don't know what the. Hey, yo, that baby is not ready to pop out yet. That does not sound like a baby that's ready to pop out. Oh, is that my lovely wife that I gutted? There's no pistol there. No, it's not there every time. Why was there a blicky? I don't know, let's keep going. I ain't scared of shit. Come here. Open. What's that heartbeat? What the fuck is that noise? Oh, is that my footsteps? Bro, that sounded like a heartbeat. Ooh, there's something crunchy over there. What's going on? What's with all the crunchy noises? I wish that main door would just open so I could fucking leave, dude. Oh. What's so funny? I want to know. I want to get in on the joke. Oh, I know it. I know it. It must have been like when she asks you why you got two calculators on your phone. Classic meme. Classic meme. That one always gets gets a good chuckle out of me. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the laughing lady. Is there anything outside? No. Just more costrosis. Oh. Hello. Some blood on the floor. Empty bathtub is always a good idea. They'll always chill, always chill. It's been two months since John got out of the hospital. We are very happy with Alice's arrival. I'm worried because sometimes he has outbreaks. Whenever this happens, I lock myself in the bathroom. Alice and me are safe here. I don't know if you guys are safe there, though. I'm a psycho. And two personalities is more than one. Yeah, I'm, I'm a psychopath. I don't think that... Why are the lights flickering? Maybe I go back now. Okay. All right. All right. Hello. 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 Anybody home? Grandma. Huh. Ooh. Well, the door's. I can't answer. I. I can't. I can't answer. The door's locked. Maybe I... Well, I can't answer that. Wait. Where's the phone? It sounds like it's like right here. All right, I'm gonna go back first. I don't know. 
It sounds like it's following me. It sounds like it's right behind me. Oh! I forgot there is a phone. Hello. Why did it sound like it was in the other room? Hello. How you doing? Who's there? I'm sorry, I didn't quite get your name. Those darn kids always running amok. Always pranking. Always being funny. Do I leave now? Oh, there's something written on the wall. I'm at the window. They let me know. Which window? You just waiting to say hi or? <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't sure which window. I didn't think it'd be the first one. Okay, bro did not lie. They really were at the window. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, woman. Shut that child up. I just worked nine hours. Ooh. God, I just want to squish its little tiny face. Ew. I don't even like kids, so this is... Get these sticky things away from me. Honey, what are you doing with that gigantic baby head? Honey, what did I tell you about... What did I, what did I tell you about standing above the gigantic baby... Am I gonna walk through this? Am I gonna hear ush gush every step? Listen. Oh, the chair's gone. Oh, the chair is not gone, but that is slimy. But that. Hey. It's dark, dude. F them kids, hey. It's dark, let me out. Oh, oh, I'm out, I'm free. Oh my God, there's so much ushy gush leaking in from the walls. Is there gonna be something outside? Oh my God. Thought I saw someone. How do the cockroaches feel about this? That is gonna cost us a fortune to clean up. To repaint these fucking walls, dude. It's gonna cost us a lot. Oh my god, it's a little fucking little tiny child thing! Oh my god! Ew! Hey, that kind of scared me. I can't see anything. Hey, turn on the, hey, yo. <sighs> oh, okay, we're back. And yeah, now we're good, now we're good, now we're good. Yeah, bro, let's get to the bottom of this. Now we're gonna figure out what the fuck was going on. We're fine now, right? Yeah, no Glock, no Glizzy. No Glizzy, no problem. Everything's back to normal. Like night one. No cockroaches on the door, I bet, either. Oh, no. We still we still do that. Oh, my God. Okay, it's locked. Are the pictures changing? Bro, I swear it did. Bro, I swear it looked different. I swear it looked different. There's some rocking noises. I swear it looked different. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, what's in here? Yeah, they keep sending me in this room. Did you get older yet? Or are you still a little fucking baby? Are you older? Grow up already. 
I, Dr. Mark Perkle, declare the patient, John Rubrick, able to resume their normal life following the treatments and, and weekly follow-up. The patient was diagnosed two years ago with dual personality. We read this already. And you said I was fine. So... Why is it so fucking quiet? Why did it get so quiet? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I need more of that. Yeah, more noises. Make me feel not alone. I don't want to turn this corner. Because I know. Because I know. I know. You, you, get a, you get a knack for this kind of stuff, guys. You feel when the jump scare... Now, what the hell is this? What did I tell you about making a man? Oh. What did I tell you about making pudding? <laughs> what did I tell you about making chili in the bathtub? I told you not to do that anymore. It's unsanitary. Yes, it feeds us for weeks, but... No more, no more bathtub chili. Or I'm gonna divorce you. Honestly, I'd probably divorce my wife if she didn't stop making bathtub chili. Oh... Yeah, you may think that's not a big enough problem to divorce someone. I fucking disagree. I would end a marriage on some bathtub chili type shit. Type shit. <laughs> was I supposed to read? Oh, there was a note. It's been two months since John got out of the hospital. We are very happy with Alice's arrival. I'm worried because sometimes he has outbreaks. Whenever this happens, I lock... Yeah, we read that. Is there another room? Oh. Hello. Are you my wife? Are you the culprit of the bathtub chili? <laughs> Was I supposed to live? Did I lose? Am I going to wake up again? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh, we did not wake up from the chair this time. Oh, we woke up. No more hell. No more. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that my wife or me? Is that my fucking wife? It's unfortunate. The world we live in. People who don't value life. Today I bring terrible news. A man had a psychotic break and stabbed his wife to death. He took the fetus out of her belly and put it in the crib. She was three months pregnant. The man suffered from split personality and had been released from the psychiatric hospital a few months ago. How bad can human be? That was, oh my god, oh my god. He ripped the fetus out of his pregnant wife. My god, bro got a UAV, triple kill. Bang, bang, and then himself. Oh, wow, okay. Sometimes finding the perfect spot mm, can be a little difficult. So, let's find one right now. What is a perfect spot? It is a place where you make the best memories while the rest are silent. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. That is a perfect spot. Find a perfect spot. Okay. <coughs> so for me, my perfect spots are like, like the movie theater in the middle row. Boom. That's a perfect spot for me. Um, At a restaurant in the corner where you get a whole booth, but you don't have to deal with too many people. Perfect spot. Uh, catch me in the corner on a basketball court. Perfect spot. Um, I don't know about perfect spots in graveyards, though. I'm not, I'm not familiar. So I don't, I don't know what the perfect spot would be here. There's a lot of missing motherfucks, though. Jesus. God. God, there's more missing people than there, than there's found people. Then there's not missing people. Find a perfect spot. Well, I'm trying, but 
in the water fountain? No, that's too wet. You know, there is a such thing as too wet. You know what I'm saying? That is not a perfect spot. Mmm, right in front of the statue. <coughs> also not a perfect spot. It smells too uh, grainy. Too much like rock. Mmm. Now right here. Yep, this is the perfect spot. Get a shovel from the car. You motherfucker, you motherfucker. You motherfucker, you making me walk all the way back over to my car. You didn't want to grab it to begin with. You knew what you were doing. Wait, what are you doing? I thought you were having a picnic. I thought you were just one of those weirdos that maybe likes to have picnics at the cemetery. Get the shovel. Oh. Shit. Keep an eye on that broom, guys. I'm sure we'll be doing some sweeping on the perfect spot later. Okay. Well, let's go over real quick and dig it up. Now, what are we doing? Oh, perfect spot to bury. Oh my God, why are we burying something in the cemetery? And what is bro pondering? What is he gonna eat later? What kind of rock is he made out of? Get the body from the Am I stupid? Why did I not assume that finding the perfect spot in a graveyard is dumping a body somewhere? But we don't know that this is illegal. Maybe he works for the cemetery. Maybe this is a body, this is my job. Maybe this is just my job and I'm not actually not a freak murderer because why would I be doing? You know, a little unorthodox maybe, uh, you know, the way we wrapped up the body. Yeah, but again, maybe bro got into a really brutal accident. Listen, I just work here. Okay, I just work here. Repent your sins in church. Okay. All right. Like, what kind of sins? Like, I accidentally used the Lord's name in vain type of... <sighs> like, I accidentally pocketed, like, some M&Ms from... Walmart, or... Maybe I lied about what kind of grade I got on my test to my parents. What kind of, uh, sins? I mean, it's just three people, but damn, they, they've been going missing a lot. They keep going missing. Damn, somebody find them. I was, I was gonna say, you don't have a key, do you? I think someone's at the end of the hallway, by the fucking way. I think I see someone at the end of the fucking hallway, by the fucking way. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Oh, hey! Was that written in blood behind you? Repent? Okay. Hey. Mm-hmm. I will do that. Where'd the door go? Moved it. God, these demons, bro. How the fuck can they just... Dude, why would you ever hire someone to work on your house? Demons can just spawn in and spawn out doors, bro. Imagine if they use their powers for good and not evil. Imagine, um, imagine, imagine how far we'd be architecturally. Oh, it's like a nut sack. Just wanna give it a little punch. Oh my God, I could Spider-Man kiss all you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm Spider-Man kissing. I'm Spider-Man kissing everybody. Give me the fuck out of here. I'm repent to the Lord. I mean, at this point, is it even missing? I feel like that's just their new home now. They've been missing. Look how many times they're missing. Stab? Stab? Stab what? Okay, stab. Uh, I don't. Oh. The, the, the bag with. Oh my God! I'm stabbing. Shake, 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 shake. Oh. What if one of them is alive? Hey, we're gonna hear a fucking scream.
Can I take the knife with me? Bro, please take the knife with you. Why would you not? What'd she just say? I'm gonna come. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Whoa, it's just said in my ear. I'm gonna come. To my senses. I'm gonna come to the conclusion. I'm gonna come onto the dance floor and bust a fat fucking dance move. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not like hey hey repent or go back uh well I mean I came in here to do something so let's finish doing it we came in here to repent right oh my god it's the chat that's pondering what is he pondering what is he pondering I will repent what do I have to Oh, motherfuck, I chose the- uh, My hands are in the air, officer, please. Fuck. Fuck, officer. Ugh. Not so brutal. Oh, oh, officer. Relax. I like it a little rough. Okay. That was not... Can I not repent? Can I just be... Oh, my God. Okay. The third game we're gonna be playing is called Go to Bed. I mean, what games did we play today? Perfect spot. Go to bed. These are just daily activities. And then what was the third one? The third one was cycle. Just stuff you do every day. Okay, that's the theme of this video. Play. Situation one, subject A. Oh. Go to bed. Oh. Do I have a time? Do I just... That's it? What if I don't? Well, now I'm not listening to the game. <laughs> now I'm doing whatever I want. Oh, I locked the fucking door. Uh, are there other precautions I can take? Probably closing the window. Okay, yeah, that's why I don't go to bed right away, bitch. That's why I'm... To arm the sec home security system? Am I about to beat the game already? <laughs> what if I'm supposed to find this stuff out later? But your boy is getting it done now. Okay. Well, I will go to bed now. Now I can. I feel better. Turn off the light. Oh, that's not a light. Go to bed. Hmm. Did you lock the front door? Yes. Oh, I hate this fucking game. Did you close the windows? But the thing is, you can't outgame the gamer. You can't outgame the gamer. I made sure everything was ready. Did you close the window? Yes, bitch. They're probably like, there's no way this is the first time playing. It is. I did close the window. What is he gonna do? Try to open it? Yeah, knock on it. Knock on it, bitch. Did you arm the home security system? Oh my god. Yes. I did. I'm safe as fuck. Kick my feet back and relax. <laughs> Did you hide the knives? N no. I didn't hide the knives. You cut the security system with the knife? I'd How'd you do that? Are you outside my door? Situation failed, someone got in. Oh my god, you motherfuckers. Okay, all right. All right, I made a small mistake. I thought we'd be fine, but I didn't hide the knives. I will change that mistake right now. Arm the security system. Bop, close the window. Bop, lock the door. Bop, uh, and hide the knives. There is nothing else that that motherfucker can do to hurt me. There is nothing else that motherfucker can do to hurt me. We are good. Go to bed. <laughs> is my wall missing? What is my... Oh, no. It was just really bright. It looked like the wall to my left was gone. Did I lock the front door? Yes. Did you close the windows? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, I I turned on the home. Okay, this is where shit gets a little weird. Did I hide the knives? Yes, I did. I did. I did. Did you hide the knives? Yes. <laughs> Idiot. I'm safe as fuck, boy. I'm safe as fuck. Officers arrest that fucking that villain. Situation two, subject B. What do you? No, I will not go to. I will not. 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 I have things to do. Okay, such as closing that window, turning on this alarm. Idiots. Lock door. Yeah, morons. You guys don't understand. I'm a fucking gamer. Where's the knives? Hide the knives. Now. Is there anything else I gotta do? Probably not. Oh my god, maybe. No? Not lock the cellar door? Then we're fine. That's it. That's it. I'm going to bed. There's nothing else I could have done. Look. What, 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 where, where? What could they, yeah, no, we're good. Close this shit, go to bed, and I'd like to see someone try to break in. Look at this fucking gigantic comforter I have. I am snuggled up. Go ahead, buddy. Try your best. Is the house secure? Yeah, it is. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I am sure. I'm sure. Good. Next situation. You gotta be confident. Do you see how they tried to call my bluff? I don't even know. There could have been six men hiding in the closet trying to beat my cheeks later that night and I would have never fucking known. There might have been six grown ass dudes in there waiting to fucking pound some cheekage. But if you act confident. Is that my poop bucket? Press E to go to bed. N no. Okay, bro. No, no. I don't want to. I need to leave now. Yeah. Uh huh. I agree. Pick up a fucking hand and then slap him with it. Slap him with a bony hand. Locked? Okay. Yo, what the fuck just happened? I was actually feeling kind of comfortable and then all of a sudden... Oh my god, I thought that was a nice pair of boobs. It was two rolls of toilet paper. I thought it was some ghost titties. I'm gonna be fucking next. I'm gonna be. <gasps> Why would the music stop now? Why is the fucking body gone? Oh my god. Did you see the ghost titties too? Can't blame you. Bro's got that dog in him. I ain't scared of shit, bitch. Go! I just unlocked the door with the key. Go! Go! <laughs> Bread. Let's fucking go. I need to find a way out. I wasn't setting alarms to keep someone out. I was setting alarms to keep someone in. Oh my god, I wasn't the fuck- I'm the fucking freak! And now I'm trying to escape- I locked it! I can't! All oh, the knives are go- The knives are go- The security system- Oh. It's shut. I should check for an alarm before trying it. Oh. It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wire with something. <laughs> 
And then what does that say? They put away anything useful. Oh, well, that cellar door was my door. Do I go say hello? I'm fucked. What do I do? There's no leaving. Pressy to check door? No use, it's locked and needs a code. There's no way out? Maybe back downstairs? Oh my god. 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 Why aren't you in bed? That was good. That was probably, I think, my favorite of the three because that that little that little uh, plot twist at the end, that was pretty good. I liked that. That was scary. That was chill.